Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series For API Recommended Practice 578 In this lecture, we will discuss the materials identification. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 8, as well as reviews of some of the important sub-clauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the table of contents. The text portion of is distributed amongst three sub-clauses. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 8 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Identification process Alloy materials should be identified by their alloy designation or nominal composition. Examples of some acceptable identification methods are Color coding by alloy a low-stress stamp marking, indicating that the test has been performed. Documentation showing both the PMI results and the PMI locations. Test locations should be shown on appropriate drawings so that each test site can be traceable to the fabricated components. Color coding marking If the material verification program procedure established by the owner user requires a visual identification, such as color coding or marking, is not a substitute for permanent manufacturer's markings required by applicable ASTM or other materials specifications. Owner user should maintain a record of the alloy material color code combinations. Persons responsible for reading the colors should be confirmed as being able to distinguish the difference between the colors being used. PFI Standard ES22 is an example of one such system. Marking of components if the owner user's documentation process requires physical marking of equipment components, it should specify one of the following whether or not the marking system remain legible for the component's life, temporary to facilitate proper handling and identification. Markers contain additives such as aluminum lead or zinc, sulfur or chlorides, should not be used. Review questions. Question number one. A color code system for marking materials is specified in. Answer is D. Question number two. Identification of materials by color coding. Answer is B. Question number three. If the owner's PMI system requires physical marking of components, which of the following is not required? Answer is B. Question number four. Marking pens should not contain chlorides or Answer is D The 
This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching, and please waiting us for next lecture.